Hi, in this problem, we're going to reduce the order of the radical. So the idea is to first basically write this to a power and then manipulate the radical. So 125 can be written as 5 cubed. So this is really the sixth root of 5 to the third power. And now what we can do is whenever you have something like this, if you have, say, the mth root of x to the n, that's just x to the, and it's n over m, n over m, like this. So in this case, we can write this as 5 to the 3 over 6, 3 over 6, just like that. And now we can simplify, so we're essentially reducing the order. This is the key step. This is where you do some cancellation. 5 into the 3, 6. Well, 3 goes into 3 one time, and it goes into 6 twice. So this is 1 over 2. And now we can write this as, using this formula, as the square root of 5. Right, this is your m here, the 2. So it goes here. Then here's your 5 to the 1. You see it's 1 over 2, 1 over 2. But whenever it's the square root, you never write it. So this is just the square root of 5. Pretty cool technique uh, for rewriting radicals, right? We had the sixth root of 125. And apparently that's the same thing as the square root of 5, right? Probably not so obvious. I mean, that's pretty interesting. So the sixth root of 125 is actually equal to the square root of 5. Kind of cool. Good luck.